Welcome to the FAQ Podcast, Frequently Asked Questions with Fuzzy and Quincy. Uh, look, if you want to subscribe anywhere you look at podcasts, just come on, hit that button, click the button, share it, send it to people. You want to holler at us, fuzzyandq at gmail.com. That's right, it. Buzz, today, uh, we have a songwriter, we have an actor, we have uh, Vegas... Fine, Vegas is finest. Vegas is finest. I'll okay, I'll we'll take, take that. that. Right, we'll take that. Atlanta adopted. Did. I'll take okay. That too. Um, okay. Uh, uh, father. Father. Well, yeah. Married man. Philanthropist. Indeed. Definitely indeed. philanthropist. Why a philanthropist? Master chef. Matt. Really? No. Oh, we got, no. I was saying, I didn't know you I burned. Know it, yeah. Nah, I'm just throwing shit in there. Okay. Good. We have Neo. Let's get up for Neo. Yo, Neo! <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yeah, yeah. What's going let's, on, y'all? Let's talk about how real Neo <clears throat> is. This is probably our second. Um, this is. This is our second. Yeah, we did the first time was on. First one was Zoom. was on Zoom because we was, you know. But yeah. we haven't had any repeat uh, guests. So these are we, official. Is it? Yeah, I think it, we have yeah, 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 yeah. It's our first time in person. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm flattered. Thank yeah, you for having a, me back twice. I yeah, appreciate it. But let's talk about how it really is. Uh, Fuzz, I was I found out from some people he was he was coming around. You called him. He said, All right, cool. Let I'll pull up. And he pulled yeah, no, up. it was like literally that you told him, I'm like, oh, we just call him. Yeah. And it happened. And now you're here. We appreciate it. Well, I mean, that. I I I showed up because, you know, Fuzz is my man. But yeah. I, I really showed up because I need that 20. You did say something about it's the 20. It's been a while, bro. And, and you know, I see you doing yeah. all right for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I don't, just, this is, no, this ain't me. It's 20 bucks, bro. I just, you know. A dub? I got a dub. At, 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 at any given moment, you can just, just slide me that. Owe, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. Really, Sorry. I told you I cash have you. We, I, yeah, that was two years ago. Damn. You that, you, that, you that kind of friend. I am. I am. You, you Wap, like, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, was, I, the shoes is nice. This is not even. That's nice not sneakers. even. I mean, look at It you. costs more than $20. I mean, yeah, you're. Okay, anyway. Just saying. Just no. Saying. What's that's, the so that's really why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to get that 20 that uh, that Q has owed me for quite some time. But in the meanwhile, we can talk that's about some things. Since that's I'm the first here, thing he said to me. Since we since we waiting on you to go get the 20, we can talk about some stuff. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's segue. Let's talk about the new album. A new 20, by the way. A new 20. A new 20. Big face, please. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. What's up with this album? You got you got a new album. Yes, coming. sir. Self explanatory. This is my eighth studio yeah. album. I'm I'm excited about it. Uh, uh, on Motown, of course. Yeah, man, things are good. I'm uh we got we got the Don't Love Me single that's out right now. It's entitled Don't Love Me. Go check that out. That in the video if you haven't yet. And um the album is man, you know what? So so okay, so I called it self explanatory for a couple reasons. First and foremost, I feel like I've been here damn near 20 years at this point. Crazy. Do you really need an ex- explanation Ooh, to a Neo album? Yeah. Bars. Yeah. Not bars. really, right? Like, yeah. at this Without point. Without being cocky, though. You know what you're Yeah, no, get. no. It's, 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 all, it's, it's all humble and, and respectable, but at the same time, it's like, come on, man. At this point, d- Neo, what is that? Seriously? Seriously? They right. know. I'm not, you're not switching up anything. Nah, I, well, well. Now, now on the other side of it, you know, I can't call myself walking, talking, living, breathing music if I can't appreciate all forms of music that's out there right now, even the stuff that I don't so much understand. You know, uh, the, I feel like the reason that I've been here as long as I have is because I don't chase or follow trends. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, now, yeah. but, but at the same time, uh, you have to acknowledge trends you have to acknowledge the fact that things have changed a little bit things are slightly different the way that the way that the world is moving you have to acknowledge it but the thing is to not try to become it especially if it's really and truly not you you know what i mean so with that being said there's some songs on the album that a person who's never heard a neo song before you know they they can rock it they can rock with it as well because it has elements of what's going on today but then the the diehard neo fan is absolutely going to get fed well because you know I'm me at this point, bro. I'm, I'm 42 years old. Hey, I'm old dog, new tricks. I ain't changing for what? For what? Right. Yeah, you've been out I'm here. Yeah. I mean, does it have? Have you? How, how have you been able to like just listen to your own voice? Because you know you have people like, come on, Neo, they doing this, so you got to do that. Like, how do you say? Eh, I hear you, but I'm a just compromise. Nah, that's real. That's it. Took so so. Mind you, started this album in 2018. Wow. Right. So that's four years of trying to put the damn album yeah. together. And of course, you know, not c- counting the two years that the, the quarantine and the right. pandemic and the whole nine. But um, it was kind of a slow start to this thing because because I was kind of listening to people say stuff like, you know, the, the, the sound has changed a little bit. The look done changed a little bit. The way that people consume music has even changed at this right. point. You know, it wasn't no it wasn't no Spotify's and, 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 and YouTube's and all of that when I first first trying to get in yeah. the game. Like this is all relatively new. But at the same time, I had to realize that I've never, ever been in the business of selling records. That's not my job. You know what I mean? My job as an artist, my job as a songwriter, my job as a creative is to create. 
and let the world figure out how they can apply it to their life. You know what I mean? That's right. and that's that's what this album is. That's where my so my head is at now. Don't get me wrong. Nobody puts out a project and doesn't want it to do well. But you know, knock on some wood. If if by you know if by whatever chance this album comes out and doesn't do well, I ain't gonna lose no sleep. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you gonna be, I'll be right. okay because I'm because I'm happy with what I've done with this album, and I feel like I feel like a good portion of the world is gonna be too. Now I was around early, of course, when I was working at Motown. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was um, I was there trying to you know help A and R and and do some things early um, with you on this. So we went to Jamaica at one point Ooh, yeah, for man. him to be creative. What? Um, Came yeah. to LA for a second. And really? Yeah. What part did you make it? Y'all was just you was in Miami for a second. Really? Just catching the vibe. Just you got to go. You got to move be, around to catch a different vibe. Explain yeah. what that process is for you as a songwriter and an artist. Well, you're not gonna catch LA vibes in New York. You're not gonna catch New York vibes in LA. You're not gonna catch LA vibes in Miami. You gonna like so you move to these different spaces to catch these different vibes because the songs come out different. Mm. You know, it's just creating diversity on the album, you know, so so your L.A. has got something to rock to. Your New York has got something to rock to. Your Miami has got something to rock to. Uh, Jamaica was primarily just fun. Yeah, I was about to say. But mind you, we was, I, I, was, I was working. cutting. I was, was definitely he was working. working. He was working. Like, but listen, in order to write about life, you got you to gotta live experience life. Experience a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you got to experience some stuff today and write the song about it and, and the rest follow suit. Yeah. Damn. But so even the song, just talk about the personal shit. So when we started putting out some records, you were going through... Some things. Some with, things he was yeah. going through some things personally in his marriage. Mm-hmm. So there was a video that had leaked. We was at the club and we had a song called Pinky Pinky Ring. Pinky Ring. Love which would not probably be on the album, I'm no. sure. <laughs> no, it was so, not. No. But it's a single. It was a single. Yeah. So we played it in the club and we just got a dope ass reaction, but I didn't realize yeah. it was gonna go viral. Okay. It was a really good response to a record a really people had never heard before. Yeah. And the video went viral. And it didn't help matters at all. I'll say that. So you got, I, so I never talked <laughs> to you about that. We was already got, on the outs. That video came out, and we was on the outs, outs, outs. So wait, yeah. she never had heard that record until no, that oh. record didn't. That record didn't exist until, until we went through we, what we went through. Like, yeah. So yeah. you were talking about your issues on on Pinky to a Rain. degree. Like okay. so. Okay, so there was some people that was trying to call it a diss record, and it's like it okay, wasn't a diss it's record. not a diss record okay. because I didn't say anything negative about her at all in the record. The record to me was about, okay, I'm going to keep it all the way funky with y'all. Uh, even though we were in the throes of potential divorce, I didn't want to get a damn divorce. Nobody. But I does. couldn't, I couldn't let that be, I couldn't, you know, let that be known. I had to, I had to poke my chest out. Like, no, I'm good. Oh yeah, go ahead. She can leave. It's fine. You want to leave? Go on and leave. Hey, the door's right there. Go on and leave. Wow. So I, so I, so I, the song was kind of me poking my chest out a little bit. Like, all right, she took back the wedding ring and turned it to a pink. She gave back the wedding ring. I turned it to a pinky ring. Like, it was, it, it. but not dissing her. Yeah, but just like just going I cocky. Yeah, if this if this is where we at, this is where we at. And Let I'm me a, ask and you, I'm, a, I'm a freak. It. But cool. any of your, your homies like that's not you probably shouldn't have did that song. Not a single one. No, no, <laughs> oh no. My all, all my really? homies was really? like, that's right, that's right. No, yeah, no. no we, it was I was cringing. No, my, like, my homies was being my support system because okay. I needed that in okay. that moment. Okay. They was they was my support system. Like you gonna be high right, dog? Yeah, we gonna go to this club. We are gonna be cool. Don't worry about it. It was all good. Yeah, yeah, and then quarantine hit. And, had, to be, uh, had to sit down. Mm-hmm. Had to sit down with her, you know, in in a in a in one space for a long for a long amount of time, and that kind of forced us to talk, talk. about stuff that we wasn't talking about. Really, like, we just we just that that's kind of what happened. Like we just got to the point where we couldn't talk because it's like, all right, if I say something, it's going to start an argument. And I don't feel like arguing right now, so I ain't even gonna say nothing. Right. Or we clearly beefing, but I I'll, I'll be back in two weeks because I gotta go do my shows or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it so our relationship became that, and then you know eventually just just bottomed out. But sitting in quarantine, uh, having really really uncomfortable conversations, like Damn. like. Like, uh, so what was her name? And so what, what made you go over there? Like, oh, oh wow. damn. Ah, do you, do we really oh, want to talk about this? Like how you find that out? Like, you know, but, but them conversations that needed to be had right. in order for us to get back to them, in order for us to get to where we are now, we're in a great place now, but it took just brutal, somewhat painful honesty on both sides for us yeah. to finally realize, yo, okay, we got this issue, this issue, this issue, this issue. But at the end of the day, I love the shit out of you. Like I, lo- I love you, and you yeah. love me, and and nothing is stronger than that. So, so yeah. Once we realized that, we in a we're in a great place now. But did, it, did you have to go to like some counseling, or did it help? We kind of did it ourselves, man. Like I mean, That's taking big. nothing from counseling and therapy because it's it's needed and necessary, and and I I recommend it. But 
us literally being in that house for the time that we was in that house and just running through all the emotions. It was, we was angry. We was sad. We laughed about good times and all of that, cried about good times. All of these things happened for us eventually to realize, listen, at the end of the day, we love each other. You know, we love each other to the point where we decided, we chose to be with each other for the rest of our lives. Like, there shouldn't be anything stronger than that. There shouldn't be anything that, that sits above that, especially not no he said, she said, or, or you know, mistakes that were made or whatever the case may be. So, had, so we good. And you had a newborn. Uh, yeah, she will be a year. Uh, she is 10 months old. Isabella Rose, much love to little Izzy. Uh, my, my fifth and final child, yes. Wow. All done. All so that was, that was a part of the healing process, you think, or was that a part of um, makeup sex? Hey, I'm leaving it in. Bow! <laughs> Some well now nah, because so 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 with with Izzy because we decided well I, I say we but she decided that this was our fifth and final child of course because I can't make that decision I can't birth no kids so she said I'm only doing this one more time we have two sons already right yep since we first 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 started talking about having kids before we had any kids she's always wanted a daughter. Of course. Right? So our first son, oh, that's it's a girl. I know it's a girl. I know it's a girl. It's a boy. Second, it's a girl. I know it's a girl. It's a boy. So she said, listen, I'm only doing this one more time. We need to make sure that I get my daughter. So we did the IVF thing. Oh, oh okay. wow. Yeah. So you can you can you can decide the sex of the baby wow. with the IVF thing. That's rich. That's some new something yeah, that yeah, I rich. something that I learned through the IVF process. The sex of the child is determined by the man. Really? Not the woman. I did not know that. So how do you like how do you how, how Well, cuz cuz as a man you have you have male and female yeah. sperm. Yeah. Oh. And then what whichever oh. sperm fertilizes the egg and then that becomes the boy. So we got boy, blue and, and pink, white wow. sperm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Know. And then on top of that, it's certain dudes that can only make boys, certain dudes that can only make girls. I got three boys. Yeah. You, you, you might be, yeah, might it? be that. Might be that. Yeah. So how did they decipher? I mean, how did they split your sperm? Like, oh, that's a male, that's a female. Did they? The doctors, they look know, how, the doctors know how to do it. But it was your sperm. It. Yeah, it's my sperm. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. 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 I'm just I'm making sure you didn't. Somebody else impregnated yeah. him, but he got the blues. He ain't, he ain't got no girls. <laughs> no. I'll just, nigga, I'll oh, just I grab one of the girls from the back. He'll yeah. never know. They won't know. <laughs> but so, now, nah, it was. It was uh, that's science for you. You know what ass. that made me think of? Like, okay, so me and wife, we, like, we, be a, we be at the house. We watch a lot of like period pieces and shows like yeah, that. For like, sure. you know. Uh, back in the day, okay, so so say we, we I, I'm a king and you're a king, right? And I'm gonna marry my daughter to your son, right? My daughter isn't obligated to make a son for to to continue to let to continue the, the lineage or whatever, right, right? Right, for sure. If she don't produce a son, I can kill her. I can do. I can do whatever. <laughs> this is this is what it was yeah. back then. It's all on the dude's fault. Not, lo and behold, it's the dude. <laughs> it ain't even the girl. So like, women was getting. Did dirty like you? You can't even make. You can't even give me a son. It's like no, you can't give you a son, bro. That's wow. on you. That's crazy. It's crazy how many women like suffered something really, really crazy yeah. behind something that ain't even that wasn't even on them. Wow, science. So, so, you, so you're done. So done having kids. Yeah, wow. man, we done. I'm getting snipped, bro. We but, done. Okay, oh, are you gonna get snipped? I'm getting snipped. We you, done. You sure? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's because you. Yes. It's not about the money. It's about the time that you got to spend with. You know. You don't, you don't have that much time. It's like five kids. A wife, I have five career. children. I don't. I don't need no. I got to start in five, bro. We, yeah. we, we, we can yeah. play pickup games. We Somebody good. get hurt, we going home. No subs. Yeah, We're done. So all right. So the last two two years has literally changed. All right. If you started this album eighteen, you doing pinky ring. Mm-hmm. Then it goes from pinky ring to wedding, wedding ring, ring, back back to, ring. Back to wedding yeah. ring. To, right, right. And so, you got remarried again. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We, we renewed, renewed our vows. Renewed the vows. Renewed, vows. Sorry, renewed yeah. the vows. Mm-hmm. That's right. So. Some of the stuff that you were probably singing about in eighteen is like I can't really. Well, no, nah, not necessarily because what I what I realized as as an artist is that every song, every song don't have to be about me. Every every song don't have to be my situation. Everybody ain't married. Everybody ain't you know what I'm saying. This, yeah, this. got it. So I write my music for for people to live their life to. And how can you live your life to a song that don't apply to your life? So I have to write about things outside of just my situation. Got it. Yeah. Got it. No, and what, what what comes easy to you as a as a songwriter and artist? Like the like the breakup kind of songs or the love songs or uh, marrying a female or the sa- you know what? It's it's a really sad truth, but heartache makes the best song lyrics. It really, really does. It pain makes for an, um, incredible song lyrics. And I, I hate that that's true, but it is. But if you think about it, I I 
I don't know this. I don't know if this math is all the way accurate, but I feel like as far as people feeling pain versus people feeling joy in this world, I feel like the pain might 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 win that race. I feel like right. there's more people Damn. in pain than there are people, you know, experiencing joy in this world. And I think that that's the reason that those records kind of relate to people. It's like, you know, you in that moment, you want to you want to know that you're not alone. You want to know that somebody else has experienced this too. And that song about it helps you, it, it helps you get through it almost. Speak of, yeah. I, I was with you when you did the Walk Away record. Mm. And you shot a video for it, right? Mm. Uh, but I'm, I, I was looking at you pin it, but then I'm like, oh, he really going through, like, he's, that's what you're really going through. Yeah, yeah. But that also, somebody else can relate to that song, mm. even though that's not your truth now, right? No, no, not but, anymore, but. So, but, but that's somebody's truth somewhere. Explain, and they got now they got a soundtrack to to that. Explain know, to everybody situation. what that song was for you at that moment. Uh, you talking about "Don't Love Me"? No, don't love me. Yeah, don't no, love me. Yes, yeah. don't love me. Uh, was definitely written around the time that me and the wife was was considering divorce. Um, it started out as an open letter. Like uh, I, I knew I was I knew I was about to make a move right quick, and I, I wrote a letter and left it for it. And um, it was basically, I mean, it's, if you've heard the song, it's basically saying. Uh, long story short, I don't think I'm capable of being the man that you deserve. You know what I mean? So, so, so you should leave. I think that you should leave before you allow me to hurt you anymore. And this is, this is kind of the stance that I was taking with my wife. And uh, she had to basically make me realize that that is an absolute cop out. I mean, mind you, it's a great song. It's a great, great. record with a great message. Record. But at the same time, in regard to my marriage, she was like, no, that's a cop out. Because people do what they want to do. Right. Realize that, yeah. okay? True. Everybody on the face of the planet, we choose uh, desire over necessity regularly, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. All the damn time. So it ain't about what you can't do. It's about what you won't do. It's about what you don't want to do. So if you're sitting here telling me that you don't want to be married, if you're sitting here telling me that you don't want to be faithful, okay, that's a different conversation than I can't because, it's, no, it's not can't. There's nothing stopping you from doing it other than you. Choice. And that's a it's just you. You and know, I'm like, like yeah. you smart. But that's but so, I should probably stay with you because you, you smart. But that's a for you to come to I mean, Neo, you got a lot of money, bro. You got a lot of success. You got a couple so, of dollars. However you feeling, people can kind of tell you that's the way, right? Like mm -hmm. if you feeling like, no, F, F this marriage, people you're like, yeah, let's F this marriage. Mm -hmm. But for you to come to this realization, like, yo, I need to stay here, like, what was how how do you how do you maintain it? Like, because you went from there's a lot of couples mm -hmm. that are Maybe watching this is like, yo, I can't stand her right now. Mm -hmm. But you got to the point of can't stand it in to divorce, to getting over it, to having conversation, to having another baby, to I'm here and right. owning up to your mistakes. Right. So how do you maintain? Why do it um, have to be the man's fault though? But not, no, no, well, no. It's not. It's not necessarily the man's yeah. fault. He, he's at how how I how I personally maintain I don't, this situation. I don't, but that's, that's the protective side of me and me. I'm like, <laughs> he didn't fuck up. He did probably. Well, I don't man, know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. Back, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the 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 maintenance part of it. How do you like? All right, look myself in the mirror. I was on some bullshit. Now I'm back, and now we thriving. I mean, it takes it takes maturity. It takes you know uh, taking that finger that you pointing at whoever else and turning that mug around. It definitely takes that. Um, Trust which is, too. Which Trust. is, by the way, not easy at all. But uh, but you also have to get to a point where you realize who you with. Like Crystal is smart. She's beautiful. She cool as a motherfucker you know, she's too, super man. Cool. Super like cool. that. Like that's my homie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I have like, a real good relationship. Like, you're not gonna find that everywhere, especially no. not at 42. Yeah. So, who the hell wants to start over at 42? Yeah. Why? When? Why? When I can just fix this? Yeah. Because it ain't nothing wrong with it. It's, it's just all right, we, we've, you know, we, we've felt we've fallen off track in a couple areas, but it ain't nothing that's not fixable. So fix fix the good thing that you got as opposed to what what what's the what's the alternative? Get back in the streets. I'm the old dude at the club now. Yeah, I don't want to be him. Yeah, no, I get it. Hey, <laughs> sweet thing, what's your name? <laughs> Let me stand on this couch with you. you. Get your ass, old <laughs> ass out here. Somebody uncle in the club? Nah, I don't want to be him. I don't yeah. want to be him. And yeah. I, I I realize that I love my wife. I love my partner, and that's that's what she is. She's my partner in this life shit. We're doing this life shit together. Right, and that's that's what it is, and and it takes it takes maintenance. I love I love that you use that word because it's not like we good on Monday and we just let that rock, and then here come Thursday and things is fucked up. Like like it's something that you work at every day, yeah. every single day. Yeah, 
I respect it, man, because I saw you going through it, and I was like, Eesh. hey. But I'm glad you got on the other side of it, bro, because I yeah. can relate. Like, that's great. It so, was difficult. Okay, so our, our, we we saw it was a, a time where, and I know probably the pandemic probably slowed this down, but like it was like neo albums, neo movie roles. Mm -hmm. So, or like, are we getting back into that? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um. Uh. So finishing. The album is done, ready to put that out. Definitely have some TV and film stuff in the works. Uh, got some TV and film stuff that's done already, that and I'm just waiting for it to come out. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I, I never really stopped working. You know, even even during the the, the pandemic or whatever. You know, I, you know, uh, if we if we could get it done on Zoom, we got it done. You know, right, even yeah. with, with y'all situation, same yeah. same thing. Yeah. So um, now it's just you know the world is is open back up and. It's about getting back out there. Like now, um, we just recently did the Lovers and Friends concert oh, in yeah, Vegas. Vegas, that was huge. I saw you. That shit was made amazing, a movie, bro. That shit was amazing. Like, like you, uh, you, you've been, you've been in the business. You know mm -hmm. that many artists in one place at one time, and it wasn't no egos, no attitude, no no prima donnas, none had to be of that fun for you. Like that, come on, man. That that shit don't happen, bro. So yeah. we was we. It was like some real. Love shit. Like, everybody was there just happy to be there, and everybody rooting for everybody else. You know, it's, it's cats on the side watching other people perform. My, I was there as a fan, because it was like, I'm like, Ashanti and Ja Rule, and like, like my whole high school, and be like, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh man, I, I was I was in there like, damn, they already went on. Damn, damn. I was, but I, I had fun with that. I had a lot of fun with that show. Yeah, no, Sierra. So you, I think, yeah, Sierra. Yeah, yeah, she smashed. Yeah, so you ready smashed. to get back on the road? I am, but I'm not. Okay. Because the one thing that I that I have not spoken about in regard to the lovers and friends is that, yeah, that stage hurt a little bit now, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> the older you get, it's different. It, you got yeah. You uh, as you as you get a little older, you got to just make sure that you. It, it takes it takes a little bit more effort to keep things right. Right. You know what I mean? Your knees get to acting silly and all so that. So y'all stop yeah. giving genuine a hard time when y'all nah. saw that footage, <laughs> well, man. I ain't seen nothing wrong with you. But I didn't think they was. I was like, he kicked his thing. Yo, out. black Twitter tore genuine. I mean, like, man. that that the, the, the jump. Yeah, yeah, they 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 gave it to him for that. Yeah, they the gave same. it to him. But I'm like, come on, it's genuine. It's the homie. So do, do you feel like because I, I feel like when we saw you do verses, but like the concept of of going out on tour. Did that kind of change for you? Meaning like, yo, maybe we could do this and that or a versus kind of rollout or lovers and friends. Where you, I, I don't think pre-pandemic we would have saw that many artists. Probably not. Right? Hell no. Probably no, not. Uh, now, now without uh, uh, World Star or Shade Room talking about the drama that ensued. Yeah. yeah. Backstage or yeah. on stage or whatever. Yeah, right. probably. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to get back out on the road. I haven't toured in a while. Uh, so I am excited to get back out there. Like that, that lovers and friends was kind of. Wake I got pull. the bug again. Like, you yep. know, I got out there and, and to feel the energy from the crowd. It's like, yeah, we got to get back to this. But then at the same time, it just, it was a reminder that, you know, um, I'm still holding on to about 15 pounds of quarantine weight. <laughs> yes, I'm still blaming the quarantine. I know we ain't in quarantine no more, but I'm blaming it. We kind of. No, you can yes. yeah, yeah, take that one, man. We not. But, <laughs> no, nigga just lazy. Nah, I got to, I got to, I got to get back in. I gotta get I gotta get in tour shape before I can get so back. You gotta on train tour. and tour yeah, and get yeah, back man. on dancing. Well, you gotta get it back right. The tour and then you be like, all right, I got until. What well, I mean, well, that's what's happening as as we speak. Yeah. Matter of fact, that was actually a cool little segue into it. We are definitely in the process of putting together the tour, domestic and international. And uh, now now I'm just waiting on him to tell me what the dates are, and so we can start rehearsals and I can get my ass in the gym and get this 15 off. Yo, yeah. did you ever see Neo do? Um, who was it? The, the American, oh, American Ninja Warrior. Ninja, yeah. Yo, he was. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, you know, I was hating. I was like, <laughs> he got a trainer. He, he can do that because he's rich and I'm he like, got trainers. Yo, he seemed like him. he did that route in his backyard. I'm like, yo, he's yeah. making it look too easy. We, I, they gave us one day of of training with somebody that with one of the one of the ninjas. Quote only unquote. one yeah. day. One day. One day. It was it was a couple hours. But it was one day to just familiar. Yo, Neo, you track. couldn't tell me you had yeah. did that for weeks. Yeah, I was hating. No, one day. But mind you, at that point, I'm in tip top shape. Don't ask me to do that shit right now because it's, it's going to be completely different. <laughs> you look like you're on wipeout. Wipeout. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Wow. But no, nah, that, that was fun. That was fun. What is your? Because you said domestic and, and international, and I, I got to tell you this: um, every morning I wake my my kid, my two oldest sons, up to um, 
the Pitbull and Neo record. Uh -huh. And yeah, they, yeah. they love it, but they hate it. Which one? Two of them. Tonight, that one. Yes. Yeah, 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 we get it. Sorry, we get it. But that, that one. I know what you was talking about yeah, without yeah. you doing that. Sorry, that I, but yeah. Cool. And but then, but then we go to. And you still singing? You still, you still singing to me right now? You can so, stop. but you got the same. No, I said you could stop. That wasn't the cue to keep keep going. Yeah. Fuzzy, what's up, that, bro? How, how you been? He wrote no, that. You know that. Been, yeah. So, but like. Those are big records, yes, international yes. records. So when you go international, like who, like where's you got to do? You that. probably could walk around Atlanta and people are like, oh, that's just yeah. What's up, Neil? You probably go around Vegas, but like, oh, I went to high school with them, whatever. But when you to step mm -hmm. to London or what's that one one country or one city internationally? Different. You like it's a little different. Uh, yeah. uh, any any Asian country, uh, I get a lot of love. Really, Japan especially love Japan. I get a lot a lot of love out there. Um, any any Latin country, you know, Brazil is still waiting on me to come back. I love love Brazil. That's what we need um, to go to Brazil with Neo, boy, Ricky. Write me. We, we got to go to. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Just make it happen. We got to go to. We got to go to. Yeah. How you doing? Um. Honestly, man. So it's 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 different over there because. Well, I, I actually I can't even say that because everybody kind of gets the music all at the same time. Right, it's right. Not even, I get it. It's not even that no more. But uh, it's I will say this: there's a deeper appreciation for music in other countries outside of America. Right. Yeah. You know, in in America, it's 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 the music, but it's also the story. It's the the it's the controversy. It's it's whatever it is that's going on. And I and I just I ain't never been for the controversy. Not not really. So it is what it is. Outside of America. The, you know that the people have come to the concert because they love the record, because they they waiting to hear their favorite song, not not to find something to talk crazy about on IG the following day. Like yeah. that's that's what it seemed like. They may not speak about. English, but they know all your words. Every single that's song. crazy. They sing every song start to finish. Like I can literally <clears throat> just turn the mic around and let them do it. Really? Yeah, and oh. that and that is that's a that's a, a an imaginable feeling. So you just brought the Pitbull record when he did it, the the collab he done two actually a couple of records with Pitbull. Mm -hmm. But I always want to know what was the one record for you, Neil, that you like. This changed my life. Like this, I'm getting like the publishing's looking right, oh, or man. I'm um, on the radio. And what was that one record? Record of mine or a record that I did for someone else? Or both? Just give me both. He was stunned. He just stunned. No, that wasn't no, stunned. I mean, that's, that that's, that's a real question. I don't, you know what? I, I'm which sorry. One first one? I mean, which one? Right, right, you as an artist, Neil, then as you as a pen, uh, a songwriter. He was a hater. Um, <laughs> Very much. So. As a songwriter, uh, Mario's "Let Me Love You" definitely changed my life. That was the first major, major number one. Um, yeah, I recall looking at that publishing check. Like I've I've never seen this much money. Like it really, was, it was yeah. Do you remember where you were at when you got that first check? Be like, oh, I'm out of here. I genuinely don't, to be honest. I really? don't remember where I was. I, I want to say I was in L.A. because I because we we hadn't really started moving around yeah, a whole, whole lot just yet. I want to say I was in L.A. But yeah, I remember looking at the check like all 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 this is mine. Don't, I don't got to split this with him or 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 Scott. No, this 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 is my cut. This is me. God damn, okay. Put this yeah. in the bank. Hey, Ma. Um, yeah, leave work. Let's walk out <laughs> and don't ever look back. We good. Word. We are good. Wow. Yeah, that was definitely a life change. That 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 song uh, helped me take my mom away from my mom. I don't got to work no more. You really called, called your mom and told her don't go to work? I absolutely did. I called her while she was at work. What you doing? Nothing. All right, do me a favor. What? Need you stand up and walk out the building. What? Just stand up and walk out the building. Why? Just stand up and walk out the building. Okay. Now, mind you, she's a manager at a bank. So it was like, Wait, like, she was a manager at a bank? Right back. Yes. So she walked outside. She's like, all right, what now? She fired like, herself. Get in your car. She yeah. fired herself. Get in your car. Where am I going? Just get in your car. All right, I'm in the car. Where am I going? Go home. Why am I going home? I'm at work. Just go home. All right, I'm driving. What's at the house? Nothing. Just know that you'll never have to go back to that building ever again. Mm. What are you talking about? And then when she got home, I showed her the check. Boom. Oh. Yes. It was a beautiful moment. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right. Moment. Then what about Neil the artist? Neil the artist. Um man, so sick. So sick. The one that started it all. Like, you know, we, we was, was getting some cool traction with Stay, but Stay was and, and this is LA Reed that explained this to me. Stay was meant to be an appetizer. Okay. You know, that he never like he's he was like, I never intended for Stay to be the one to take you there. Like I knew it was enough to get the attention. And then we come behind him with So Sick and, and knock him out. So, So Sick dropped to the point where L.A. Reid knew exactly 
what it is he wanted to do and how he wanted to how he wanted to pan out. We shot two videos for So Sick. Really? He didn't like the first video. He was mm-hmm. like, "Nah, this video is not as big as this song," and called Hype Williams. Like, "Yeah, I need you to, I need you to rock this for me." Wow! Wow! So the so the the video that everybody knows that the Hype Williams video that was the second video that was shot to So Sick. This is how much LA believed in his record. He was like, "Nah, nah, we gonna scrap that whole video." And mind you, this is back when videos was costing a couple of hundred costing, thousand. Yeah, right? yeah. And we scrapping that whole thing. We gonna do something else. Have you ever had to go against L.A. Reid? Like, I mean, in the beginning of your career, he, he's right, right? He said, let's do this. We're going to do that. But have you ever been like, I want to do this? And he's like, no, nah, we shouldn't do that. Once. Okay. One time and one time only. And it was more of a, it was something that I actually agreed with L.A. And it was my manager, Tango, mm-hmm. and Jay-Z actually were the two that was like, and it was, and it was about the song Closer. So, when I first wrote Closer, I didn't write it to keep it. I wrote it to sell it. Because, like, you know, we had been over in the U.K. for a long time to the point where I'm like, let me see if I can do some, some of this kind of music, you know. So we write the song. Me and Stargate, you know, in the studio, put the thing together. And they like, and, like, we listen back to it. I'm like, yeah, this is dope. We we'll sell this thing easy. And they was like, sell it. Nah, bro, this is yours. You hold on to this. And I'm like, nah, that ain't going because mm-hmm. mind you, it was it was four on the floor, but it was like dance four on the floor, and that was the first and you have one never that I had ever done. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming off of sexy love and, and so sick and all of that, right? So I'm like, I don't feel like my fan base is gonna understand this. And then like, you bugging, you keep that joint. So regular label hears it, Jay Z declares it a single. This is this is a single. I'm like, really? He was like, sure. I didn't write it for me. Wow. This ain't, ah, uh, just, cause, mind you, because cause I felt like it was such a far toss from what we had already been doing. I'm right. like, this is, I don't see this working, right? So, song comes out, first few months, it's not doing well at all. Not, not, it's just not doing well. I mean, it's doing well in the UK, we anticipated that, but in the States, it's just not working. Right. So, L.A. Reid was like, we should switch singles. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we should, yeah, we should. And but but mind you, the, when the conversation went down, I had already spoke to Tango outside the room, and he was like, "Listen, he probably gonna tell you, you want to switch singles. We cannot switch singles." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "But well, why? It's not working." He was like, "Cause it's gonna work." I'm like, "Bruh, when? Cause it ain't it ain't working." The head of the label is saying we should switch. <laughs> yeah, but that's when Jay Z was like, "Listen, don't get off that record. When they get it, when they get it, they gonna get it." All right, so L.A. was like, yeah, we should switch records. And I'm like, no, let's not switch records. <laughs> I believe in this record. Maju Tango sitting right next to me. I'm like, yeah, I, be- I believe in this record. Let's, <laughs> stay- let's stay with this one. Yeah. <sighs> right? BET Awards. When I performed it at the BET Awards with the Jabberwockies and the whole yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah, I remember. After that, that performance. Turn the corner. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? Oh, took off right after that performance. The following day. She just took off and didn't stop and didn't what? stop. And we was, by, by after that, we was, we was overseas. We was all over the world yeah. at that point from that record. And yeah. mind you, I, I, Listen to the team. I tell this story and it's, it's, it's one of Tango's I told you. Oh so yeah, he, I've time. heard it, yeah. I hate that. I hate that. And he gonna, hey, he'll never let you forget. Oh, never. Nah, we're going to be, we're going to be 90 plus. Like, you remember when you wanted to get off close? <laughs> yeah, you, you're welcome. So, Neil, let me ask you this. So, you, you you're a songwriter's writer. Like, everybody loves your pen, right? Who do you listen to that is like, I wish I wrote this song? Or oh, like, man. Like, I remember um, Lionel Rich, we did an interview with Lionel Rich. He said, I wish I did, um, I believe I can fly. I, I wish I wrote that record. Yeah, that's one of them ones. Um, who do I listen to and wish I wrote the record? Um, when I first heard Essence, Tim's and Wiz Kid, I was like, this is such a simple and perfect damn record. Like, really? it don't need a whole bunch of harmonies or nothing. Mm-hmm. It's literally just the voices and what's being said and the way it's being said. This right. is a perfect, simple record. Damn it, why didn't I think of this first? I mean, mind you, because I've, I've written simple records before, but there's just something about those melodies. And then plus Tim's voice. Tim, Tim's voice is crazy. Shout out, to, shout out to Wiz, but shout out to Tim's. That was, yeah, yeah. like, that was a kick in the door. Like, hey, I'm here, goddamn. Um... So I really, really like that record. Uh, I like, okay, everybody likes Drake. Everybody likes Drake. I prefer Drake's more complicated stuff. Not even so much as his R&B stuff. The, 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 
the joints where he really get lyrical, where he really get in his hip hop bag. And I'm like, oh, this ain't even necessarily for the radio. I'm, this is just bars, bars, right. bars. Him bars. going like, I appreciate that type of stuff because mm-hmm. as a songwriter, I'm listening to the lyrics. You know, he's mastered the ability to write a simple song that everybody can sing to, but then at the same time, he could turn around and give you Melody. double, triple entendres. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like metaphors that 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 make you have to stop it and go, wait a minute, what the? Yeah. So you, that's dope. You listen like, to rap music as like, ah, oh, that's clever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For the when it, I mean, when it's clever. Yeah, yeah, it's, for sure. It's rare nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Rare nowadays that it's clever. Yeah. J. Cole never disappoints. Shout out to the boy J. Yeah. Cole. You think about Kendrick Lamar's new album? Kendrick never disappoints. Shout out to the boy Kendrick. Right. Kendrick Kendrick joints be so intricate. You you might just skip the song. Like, you know what? Let me just listen to the next <laughs> one. I'm gonna come back to that one because that one requires study. Right. I'm gonna have to sit with that one for a minute and really figure out what's going on. Yeah. I just I I like an artist that that almost it almost feels like they know exactly what to say to get the response from you that they're looking for. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a superpower. That's that's Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder can make you sad with a song. He can make you smile with a song. You have no choice. Really? You're gonna listen to it, yeah. and then vibes is gonna hit you, and you're gonna smile. You ever or the vibes are gonna hit you, and you're gonna get up and dance. Like I, I like writers that do that. That do that. You ever had a conversation with Stevie Wonder about I have. I have. I, I've done uh, Stevie Wonder's radio show when he was on radio. I, uh, is he still on radio? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm okay, JLH. He's on that station. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still on okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've done that show. I've I've had I've had a few conversations with Stevie. We just ain't never gotten a studio yet. That's really? that's what and I'm he's working on. on a new project too. Right now? Yep. I can, it I can connect what, you with the producer. That that's easy. What, what were some of his his records or your records that Stevie said, "Yo, man, you you did it on that one," um, or those couple, or you know what I mean? Um, I can't, I can't recall which ones specifically. Um, just, just, I mean, getting any accolade from somebody yeah. like Stevie Wonder is, uh, is yeah. enough for him to say, "Hey, man, you're a pretty good songwriter." That was, that was enough for me. Stevie yeah. Wonder, that's that's different. Have you ever tripped out on, you know, I know you got like millions of songs, but have you ever tripped out on, like, man, I wrote that five years ago, and now it's a, it maybe you gave it to somebody and it went mm. through the roof, but like, dog, I, I wrote that five, six years ago. I did that. When I was just washing the dishes, well, you don't wash dishes because you're really wealthy. I wash but, dishes. Uh, you know why he don't wash them? Dishes. I wash dishes. You do? Ask my wife. I wash dishes. You see how his voice went high? I don't believe because he's probably wow. in trouble. Yeah. Like, oh, I got a bust yeah. suds. No, I'm offended by the fact that I'm you sorry. assume yeah. that I don't wash dishes well, just because I'm a little well off. Come yeah. on, brother. <laughs> well, uh-huh. When you're driving, you know. But have you bugged out like, yo, I did that Bugged. song? It was simple, and it, it took. Went. It, it literally took almost ten years. For me to sit still long enough to realize everything that had happened over that ten year period, like, cause mind you, in the in the throes of it, we was just going, going, mm-hmm. going, going, going. It wasn't it wasn't no time to really sit still and go, man, that was the BET Awards, we smashed that, or man, I, nah, we just won a Grammy. Or, I, like it wasn't no time to do that. It yeah. was like right after the Grammys, on to the next thing. Right after that, on to the next thing. On to the next studio session. On to the next show. On to the next. Whatever, and we just kept moving until it was after. Um, it was after uh, in my not in my own words. It was after Year of the Gentleman, that album, because we toured for like two years off that album. <sighs> two years, just it's a blessing. It's moving, so we finally sat still, you know, for a few, uh, just a couple months to, to for everybody to recalibrate. But that was the moment where I was like, "Yo, I have three Grammys, mm. like, yo." <laughs> I've done songs with Mary J. Blige, but I'd like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my reflection moment, mm-hmm. and, and and that was when it was like, man, I remember. I like I remember. I can think back to when I was literally writing songs in my little red notebook, singing them joints back to myself, just imagining what they would sound like on the radio. You know what I mean? Wow! Like I can remember. I can vividly remember that sitting on my bed, red notebook. I wrote the song, sung it back like. Yeah, that's dope. Put the notebook back on it and just imagine one day I'm going to hear my voice coming through the radio one day. Like, I, I remember that. And to be where I am now, it's like, you, you got to say thank you, bro. You got to yeah. gotta thank thank God for the blessings. Yeah. Like think, I mean, things are so normal. Like, who who do you want to work with? Because it's like, of the new new school, of the new team. Like, you may look um, at him like, yo. Yeah, he tapped I in with Young to, Blue and yeah. Trippy Red. Yeah, shout out to the boy Blue. Shout out to the boy Red. They both uh, got joints on this, on this new album. Um, uh, not to take it back to Drake, but I've never done anything with Drake. I would love to to sit down and just. Now he see watches what that FAQ would be. podcast. Yeah, all this Drake, stuff. come on, man, stop playing, man. I let your boy. Let's let's. You make got your Jack happen. Harlow out. Come, come on, on, dude. Just I was born tap in, in October, with Neil, too, bro. bro. Yeah. 
it. <laughs> wow, October's October very on, man. Sam. All right, we're gonna make that work. By default, let's get it. Um, <laughs> no, huge fan of Drake. I really want to really want to do something with him. Huge fan of her. Um, I just lo- she she now she is walking, talking, living, breathing music. Like I genuinely feel like if you cut her, a note might fly out. Like Damn. she's she's yeah. that, and she's been that. I remember I first met her. She was way younger, and she wasn't going by her yet. Right. And Alicia Keys introduced us, and was like, she's she's a prodigy. Mind you, she'll get on that guitar and smash. She'll get on that piano and smash. She'll get on them drums and smash, smash yeah, yeah. right? But she was young, and they was trying to figure out what kind of music to to make for her. Because it's like, at I think she might, I think she might have been fourteen. She she was young. She was young, young when they first and, but, put her. But out. it was like, as young as she is, the kind of music that she's just naturally doing is like mature feeling music. So they was like, hot. We need we need something that, that's going to toe the line for. This mature audience that she could clearly, you know, she could clearly get get music to, but they're not gonna they're not gonna really. She's fourteen, right? right? Yeah. So it's just, oh, look at cute little girl talking. She thinks she knows something about love or whatever. You know, you, you, they didn't want that response. They wanted people to really see how amazing she was without paying attention to her age, without paying attention to all the silly things that 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 the industry makes you pay attention to. So the whole her concept. I remember her first shows. She would do them joints in silhouette, like you couldn't even see her. Yeah. You remember, you remember that? Yeah, I do. And I was that. like, that's just really damn smart. If you want people to pay attention to just the music. Yep. I'm covered that's everything. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Sincere so face. Yeah, huge fan of her. I, lo- I love what she's done. I love uh, how well she's done, you know, because there was a point in time where you felt like somebody doing real music, real lyrics would kind of get overlooked, you know, the way that R&B has for so many years. But, like, she's one of the pi- – she's one of the ones, like – Leading the charge to to put R and B back in the main in the mainstream and 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 you know in the forefront. So huge fan of her. Um, the boy Giveon, love his Ooh. voice, love his voice. That's like, close. It's a different. It's a it's a different tone. You yeah. know what I mean, it's like it's. I love voices to where you hear the joint and you instantly know who it is. Yeah. Like don't nobody sound like that. That's mm-hmm. that's that's mm-hmm. that's Giveon. Like that dude. Um, Lucky Day, like what Lucky Day does. Um, it's eclectic, it's different, it's yeah. interesting. Uh, it's another cat that I that I met a long time ago. It's a funny story that I have about Lucky Day. I don't know. If yeah, I, I know the story. You, I, I, I story. I mean, you should share. It's kind of funny. I should, I should share. But you uh, guys were you were, you were working with Lucky Day. Yeah, was, was yeah. it called Lucky Day then? Uh, no, no, he was he was using his regular name. I don't know. If, has he told anybody his regular name? I mean, it's it's part of. I'm not gonna spill the beans if yeah. he ain't told nobody. Well, anyway, when I when I first met Lucky Day, he was not going by Lucky Day. He was going by his regular name, and I was actually uh, we was actually trying to sign him. Yep, we gonna sign him. Like we went to the studio, did records together the whole nine. Um, mind you, he was much younger. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is I, in, in L.A. or Atlanta? This was. Damn, I think this was L.A. David Brown. I believe this was Lucky L.A. Lucky Day. Okay. Well, yeah. you, you said it. I, said I didn't it. say it. Neo didn't say it. David I Brown. Say. Yeah. Yeah. So he so was going by David Brown. He yeah. was going by David Brown. DB. He's working. You know, things are good. I, I, I'm really digging his voice and his energy. You know, the songs we did. I got to find them damn songs because we actually did some. Matter of fact, one of them you know. What's that? Uh, the remix to Miss Independent with me and Jamie Foxx and Fab. Yeah. Jamie Foxx's verse. Lucky they wrote that verse. Wow! Wow! Fun fact. They wrote the F-A-Q. verse because it was supposed to be him. Really? Yeah. We was gonna we was gonna do the joint together. This is when I was trying to sign him. He was gonna be my artist, but some things happened that didn't. <laughs> didn't tell the story. It's kind of funny. It's actually happened? the story's kind of funny. I mean, okay, so so at the time, uh, I was going out of town. I was out. We was going on a, a short little run or whatever, and I let uh, Mister Day stay at my house. Right now, at this point, I got big beautiful house. And I'm like, bro, you got full reign of the crib. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, just don't go in my room. Oh, boy. The master bedroom's <laughs> off, off limits. Master bedroom's oh, off boy. limits. Anywhere else, in the, anything else in the house, anywhere else in the house, while out. You good. Don't go in my room. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. So I come back one morning, right? Open the door. Don't see this dude nowhere. Go upstairs to my room. Mm-mm. Sure enough, this nigga's asleep <laughs> with a chick <laughs> in my bed. No. <laughs> Lucky David. Yeah, man. What? <laughs> California King, I'm, I'm In chilling. my bed with a chick no. knocked out. I'm like, hey, bro. Yeah, come on. You, you got you to go, man. You got to go. Damn. What was now, my, at the time, I was, and he had no excuse. What could he yeah. say? Uh, I gave you one rule. One. 
told you one place you couldn't go. Yeah. Mind you, big crib. It's, yeah. This rooms, this backyard, whatever. Just don't go in this room. Not only are you in my room, you in my, in my bed. bed. You in my bed with somebody. Damn. Yeah, this, this. At the time, I was I was upset. Oh Hell yeah, I would yeah. be, I'll be too. upset too. I, would be too. I was mad. So so that was that was kind of the end of that whole situation. I'm like, bro, if you can't follow this simple rule, yeah, yeah I don't know if this thing gonna work. Yeah. We well, what about kinda, he blamed on the chick? Like, I want to smash your knees, bed. Put me in me. Yeah. Still, like, that don't work. Uh, so <laughs> that don't work. I told you to stay out of <laughs> yeah. here. I, I don't even know her. How, nah, how old was he? He was young. He was, he was young. He was young. Yeah. He was young. young. Young and dumb. He was young. He was young. Yeah. yeah. And mind you, we've we've spoken since you know I. I of the lucky lucky day thing happens and I'm like, oh yeah. Right. So I see him somewhere and you know, we we bruh, I just want to apologize. Man, if you don't like that, that was rough, that was easily ten years ago. Easy. Maybe more. Right, 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 right. I'm like, yeah, we good, we good. Don't worry about that. Congratulations on everything, right? Like Yeah, he's a man. Man, I this artist. wouldn't have happened if I ain't sleep, you know, sleep in your bed. There you man. go. You never, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Had that not happened, you you got Grammys and everything now, bro. Congrats, yeah, congrats! Wow, does it does it bug you out like night like, now? You're the OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yo, it does. It does. I was just having that conversation with somebody the other day. Like, I'm I'm either Unk or OG now. Wow. And I'm like, but I'm still relevant. I'm still in the I, game. Wait. Now I don't I don't mind it, but at the same time, it just it's just a reminder. Yeah, bro, you ain't you ain't the spring chicken no but more. But it's not like, like you wearing like hard bottom shoes all the time and driving a Lincoln Town car. You no, know what I mean? No, I, this is this this is not my uncle's forty two. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's different. It's a much flyer situation. However, but the generation that they look the, up to you. It's a it's a compliment, but it's a it's a reality check. It's a reality check. Yeah, damn like, right it oh, is. You were my whole childhood, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I get that all the time. I mean, thank you, but. Yeah, I'm bleeding. I'm yeah, bleeding. it's seniority. I, I I just say it's seniority. I, I I'm I'm accepting the seniority. My yeah, whole high school career was you, bro. Yeah, man. Thank thank you thank you for reminding me that <laughs> my mom yeah. used to drive me to school listen to your <laughs> yeah. music. I mean, but, ah, yeah. but you, 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 all of these, all of these. Yeah, I'm 43, so I mm-hmm. get it, right? So you like oh oh six don't feel so far away, but it it was but it was it was it was. Yeah, you look at it, you like I was in my twenties, but I'm not in my twenties. Not in my twenties no anymore. And then you look up and like you said, you have her like oh my gosh, I was like five when you came out. Yo, so just recently, um, mm-hmm. I don't know if either one of you will remember the video for when you're mad. I'm sure. I've, yeah, I've seen it. So in this video. Yeah, please don't. My bad. Please don't say. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna throw my shoe at you. Uh, so, <laughs> in that video, there's a scene. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me let me tell the story. So, I'm in I'm in New York with this dude, matter of fact, right? And we walk around the corner to this little corner store uh, 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 to pick some stuff up. And there's these two girls standing outside the store, right? Now I noticed, I, I see that they recognize me, but they didn't say nothing, so I ain't saying nothing. So I just walk in the store, right? So we get what we get as we coming out. One of the girls, mind you, they, they might be 20 apiece, right? One of the girls says, you don't recognize me, Neo? Oh, uh-oh. Now, right, I start sweating a little bit, like, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Should I, uh, hold on. What the? And she was like, I was in the video for When You're Mad. Wow. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, you can't be no older than 20. It ain't no way. She was like, no, I was in the video. So in the video, there's Hilarious. a scene where it's this little girl. She might be five. No. And she's pout yeah. pout, making, the, making the pouty face. It was her. No. I was like, like, my knees and back just instantly started hurting. Like, oh, my God. You grown now. She's a, she's a full out, a full grown woman now. Yeah. I'm like, man. You're like, I, mean, hey, was, I don't recognize cool, you. But at the same time, it was like, again, another reality old. check. Like, bro, it ain't, you ain't 20 no more, man. Yeah. But how did the kids react to you? Like, when... When you home, I know. I mean, I, I know a lot of inside, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm just like, how do the kids treat you? Like, do they understand who you are in the business, or do they like only only when we in public? You know, when we in public and they see the how reaction. other people respond, gotcha, you know, and gotcha. then they just follow suit. Like uh, Maddie and Mason are my two oldest. Maddie's 11. Mason will, Mason will be 10. And um, it got to the point where they would just run up on strangers. Hey, my dad's Neo. He's over there. You want to say hi? Oh, that's and I'm funny. like, Le- leave a nice lady alone, son. Yeah. Let's come on back over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they, they, they. I mean, they love when I, you know, go to school and they get to, you know, uh, uh, show me off to their friends, which right. is which is weird because I'm like, y'all, y'all know me for real. Y'all know me in it. 
Yeah, we well, you know you. My mom listens to. Oh, okay. Oh, there yeah. it is. There's your mom. But do you ever have this your moment mom. where you were like, they don't know the struggle? Like, do you ever take them to Vegas? You're like, listen, I had to walk down here and hit Capitol Records. I had to. I haven't hit that. I haven't hit that yet. You should. You should. I know that at some it. point I'm going to have to because I. I let me just. Call a spade a spade. My kids are being raised with money. They're going to be a little spoiled, just a little bit. And I'm going to have to bring them down to earth. Right. And remind them that, hey, I had to work for all of this. This is not, it didn't, the way y'all got it is not how I had it, man. And it's really not. They won't listen right now. It doesn't, they, they don't care right now. Like, yeah. your, your kids, like, they know there's the, their president was black first. Like, they don't yeah. know. They have no idea have the no struggle idea. That, that we came from. <laughs> struggle. It, now it, we sound it, like. Because it's just, it's just regular life to them. Yeah. Regular life. And do you feel like as a parent, you go, I don't want my kids to experience what I, because I, I definitely, me as a father, I know my, I, I spoil my daughter on some like, oh, you, you want those shoes? All right, no problem. My mom would never buy me shoes over $35. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately that kid. I'm not, that, I'm that, that parent too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Especially my daughter. Because you want the best for your kids, yeah, but also you don't want to spoil them. a Ferrari and get it. And she's 11. And she'll learn. She'll learn. We're just going to sit it in the garage. She, she'll <laughs> learn. I get it. So, okay, so, so Neo, you, you got the album, mm-hmm. the tour is coming, mm-hmm. the movie projects are coming. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I got I to gotta bring it back to what we first started. Like the $20? How do you, not the $20. Not, okay, cash how out. Do you, how waiting do you, on when that happens. How, how do you make sure that you don't get back to pre-COVID relationship when everything starts really opening back up, when the album comes out? When the, you know what I mean? Is, right. is that in the back of your head? Like, all right, I got to make sure. It is because it's it's... It's actual effort to make sure that we don't get back to that place. It's, it's realizing that I, if I'm gone for two weeks, and mind you, I had my powers of out of sight, out of mind are immaculate, bro. Like I like, I don't need to talk to you every day. Mm-hmm. You know, this is this is just, and that's not being so disrespectful. I, not not disrespectful at all. It's just it's just I'm I'm an in the moment person, and if if this is where I'm at and this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, and then and then once this is done, I, I hit you up. But in the moment, I'm locked in. You know, and as much as my wife and my kids understand that it right. still doesn't take away from the fact that daddy been gone for two weeks. Like, so, so now it's, it's the balancing act. It's finding the balance between career, family, love life, you know, cause, cause mind you, you'll get to that point where you get home and you and your wife's marriage becomes about just raising kids, just yeah. making sure the kids are straight all day. Yeah. You know, and to where it's like, all right, you, you have to make time for, your relationship, anything, anything that you that you want to do well, you gotta get, you gotta put time in, you gotta put work in, right? Marriage included, yeah. you know. So, so now it's just a matter of you know making sure that I'm conscious of the fact that okay, it's been X Y Z amount of hours. Let me just call and say and, and let her right. know I was thinking about it. Like stuff like that yeah. matters to women. It really, really, truly does. You or know, even to, you, if you go on the road, if you go on to Hawaii, you're like, hey, let's go to Hawaii. I'm doing my show. Yeah, I mean, she well, she comes with me regularly. You yeah, know? Yeah, like if yeah, I'm going yeah. somewhere, and and the only time she don't come with me is if she got something going on, right? At you know, at the house or, or something going on with her. She has a, 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 a skincare line. Oh, really? You know, so she she's doing that. She's doing the cooking thing. So you know, if she's not busy, then yeah, she will come with me. I mean, that's 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 not a problem at all. Do you think you cook better than Crystal? Hell no. She can burn. <laughs> she she is, really can cook. Yes. No. She is a chef. Chef like. Like chef, chef. What like, do you What do you love that she cooks? That what's your dish? Oh man. Um. So what I love is that she is flexible and diverse in regard to her cooking because right. I went vegan and she didn't know how to cook vegan, uh-huh. so she went and learned how to cook vegan. What? Wow. To where it's like I'm vegan, but you're not missing out. I'm not missing out. It's like if I want lasagna, she's gonna figure out how to make me vegan lasagna that's gonna taste like regular lasagna. Wow. You know what I mean? So, so the rest yeah. of the house, do they go vegan with you or you just Hell solo? No, no, oh, no. So you wake up okay. smelling like turkey bacon. Oh, and yeah. Pretty damn much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like, That's on you, dad. You, you know, you yeah. can be going in another yeah. week. But you know what it is? It's, it's, it's a discipline play. You know what I mean? It, it, in order for you to build discipline, you have to do something uncomfortable. You have to do something hard. You know what I'm saying? You in the gym, you lifting weights, you want your muscles to grow, you got to yeah. put more weight on. It's got to be, it's got to be difficult. So, yeah. For me to wake up and smell bacon and eggs and, and yeah. cheese and all of that is 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 like putting more weight on. It's like all right, I I, I just got to work a little bit harder, right? To get to where I'm trying to go. The yeah. challenge, yeah. yeah. Speaking of, speaking of working out, I didn't know. Oh, I found out later, but I didn't know Kevin Hart's trainer boss was. They, oh yeah, they yeah. Through yeah. You. yeah, man, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so it's Kevin Hart stole him. 
Pretty much. Pretty, Kevin Hart, well, no, I, I won't say that. Kevin Hart didn't nah, say that. No, he stole you. I, he stole, no, he stole I, I, I actually gave him away because I got unmotivated and just stopped working out and to, where, to where boss was like, yo, all right, well, listen, I ain't going to just take your money from you if we ain't working out. So yeah. and then he got the opportunity with Kev, and I was like, by all means, go. Because I, I, I just fallen into a place where I, I wasn't working out no more. Man. Like, he waking me up every morning like, come on, let's get it. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get <laughs> <laughs> no. So So, yeah, it, he... The, the opportunity approach, and I, I'm, I'm never the dude that's going to stand in the way yeah. of, you know, somebody that I care for leveling up. Because yeah. that was a level, because what Kevin was paying him versus what I was paying him. Definitely. He leveled up. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> so I wasn't going to stand in the way of that. But, yeah, boss, that's, that's still my guy. Yeah. Matter of fact, I know who I need to call to get back in shape. I'm just, just little, I'm just scared to so call him. So you just got to go to L.A. and just work out with him. I'm just scared to call him because he's Ball, if he's gonna make an example of me. He like, oh, you back on it? All right, well, come on, let's go. Yeah, go Seven hundred, get it. Let's he go. go. Talk shit. Yeah. yeah, you follow boss on uh, Instagram. Yeah, be running and. Do you yeah. see who he ran against uh, like a couple of weeks ago? What? No, who? He ran it. So if y'all don't understand FAQ, like boss is a trainer, yeah. and he just randomly will run against somebody. Fat up, yeah. He's under the impression he's the fastest man alive. Yeah. So he beats everybody, yeah. right? And, and my, he's fast. He's I fast. Won't lie. He, but that, no, the other day he ran against somebody that had no legs. Yeah, I saw no, he that. Didn't. Yeah, he did. I'm not gonna laugh. But mind you, so the, so the dude is like, yeah, a, the dude is like a like a like a a, a bodybuilder. Yeah, he just dude. he just yeah. He's he a, no is it leg. paraplegic? How do you? What's the proper term? I don't know the proper term. Y'all know we not trying to be offensive. Yeah, no, we're not trying about. to be offensive at all. Yeah, y'all know what we talking about. I just yeah, suck that everybody's so sensitive nowadays. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude ain't got no legs, but he does. But his arms, he runs our legs. Damn it, yeah. He like dude strong. Like don't don't get it twisted. Come on, man. God just, damn it. Q, cause cause I seen Boss lose question. before. Q. I think he, he, was, Q. he was ran against Jason Tatum or something. Q. Don't ask me that question. All right, sorry. Man. All right. But, never mind. Q. Look, no, it's all good. He all who? Right. So, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he won. Okay. We shout out to Boss. Boss hey, won. Neo. Yes, sir. Thank you for this time, <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? No, it's not, I know it's not you? crazy. I know. Listen. 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 <laughs> bro, if, hey. if, he, if, he, if the other dude had run, what, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to meet yeah. the guy. I got questions. I got real questions. Like, yeah. oh, so what? That's all good. Neo, thank you for stopping by, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Appreciate y'all having Listen, me, you're in Philly. Uh, go around. It's, mm. it's some, we got some people waiting for you. Indeed. Indeed. And, uh, in a good way. No, not, not, yeah, you don't know. You never in the bad way. That's what I'm saying. No, in, okay. in Philly, that can mean two things. That sounds yeah, real bad. Like, no, 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 no. We know. We get home. No, you got to <laughs> do it. could be good or bad no. in Philly. We got, we got some people waiting on you. No, oh, <laughs> no, damn, no, we, wow. no. Listen, no. We, it's just $20, man. We, brother, we, we, we keep it. It's fine. We'll give you the $20 back soon. Hey, I'm, I'm never gonna see that twenty dollars. I'm aware. It's cool. It's all good. It's going. You want me to loan you? No, 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 no. It's just like, no, because you know. then that's your twenty dollars. Yeah. That's my I, partner. I, you know, I'm, I'm his gonna leave him hanging. No, Neil doesn't need that money. He does need I it. Mean, he I mean, I do. Ask about it. No, do you spent, remember last time we were some years. on? Wait, go, y'all gotta go back and check out the last time we were on with Neil. We were on. And remember, his son came in like he was. Oh, daddy, man, I got five thousand dollars. How do I count this? You remember that? Oh, because it was his birthday. It was yeah, it was his birthday. birthday something. He had just like five thousand dollars. We were tripping like, yo, this guy. <laughs> he was like, yeah. we was like, he's rich. He was like, yeah, I know I'm rich. You don't remember that? Number, yeah, so numbers, numbers are a chore sometimes. Yeah. Your son is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> he's hilarious. All, yo, all of all of my kids are characters, and and I I, I blame myself. I blame myself because I was I was a. Weird little kid I was, and and my kids are following suit. Yeah, <laughs> that's where yeah. they get it from. Yeah, Ro, Roman is is uh, the next youngest. He's three next to, next to Izzy, and Ro's love language is violence. He's just gonna run up on you and punch the shit out of you and punch you hard. Where does he get this from? I don't know because I did. I like he's always <laughs> from, from from a from. I mean, he's three. He he, he just love to play fight. That's just his. But thing. does he see you working out with like doing no. your? No, I mean now he'll watch Ninja Turtles and and now he's the daddy. I'm Donatello. Bow. Okay. Yeah. And it hurt, right, Donnie. Um. Yeah. Let me make sure I'm ready first. Damn. Yeah. Wow. He's he's you gotta put a, him in martial yeah. arts. Uh, that's the plan. Yeah. That's do the they want to do like YouTube? They- you, so so S J, who's a five year old, S J has been hounding me and the wife to create a YouTube page for him because yeah. now he wants to do. How do kids make you he some wants money? To do that. Like he'll sit and watch the little uh, FGTV and all of, of that. And he's like, he's like, I want to do that. And I'm like, all right, cool. So yeah, we're gonna set it up. <laughs> we're gonna set it up. <laughs> Why not? Do you know what personality the baby has yet? Um, she's very demanding. That's her mother. Okay. Um, but she, I mean, she's only a year, so it ain't it ain't yeah, really yeah, popped yet. out yet. Yeah, yeah. But, all right. But she loved daddy. That's all. That's, hey, that's all daddy's a little girl. She loved daddy. 
That's yeah. good. That's good. Look, Neo, man, we thank you for coming by, man. Appreciate y'all FAQ having podcast. me, man. Uh, check us out, fuzzyq at gmail.com. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. FAQ Podcast. Neo, thank you, sir. Yes.